This video will cover difficult questions part 1 regarding the topic of recognized limit as derivative. Question 1. We can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0 3 times 0 plus h minus 5 minus minus 5 over h. The definition of the derivative at a number a is f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0, f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, a is 0 and f of prime of 0 equals limit as h approaches 0, f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 over h. Then we can think of it as f of 0 plus h equals this one, 3 times 0 plus h minus 5, then f of 0 equals 3 times 0 minus 5, which is minus 5, then f of x equals 3 times x minus 5. So this limit represents f of prime of 0, where f of x equals 3x minus 5, then f of prime of x equals 3, then means f prime of x equals constant function, no matter the value of x, f prime of x is always 3. So f prime of 0 equals 3. Question 2. Use the definition of the derivative. f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0, f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, a is 1, then f of prime of 1 equals limit as h approaches 0, f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h. So f of 1 plus h equals this one, 3 times 1 plus h squared plus 2 times 1 plus h, then f of 1 equals 3 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1, which is 5, then f of x equals 3 times x squared plus 2x. So this limit represents f prime of 1, where f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x, then f prime of x equals 6x plus 2, then f prime of 1 equals 6 times 1 plus 2, which is 8, then the final answer is 8. Question 3, we can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0, cube root of 8 plus h minus cube root of 8 over h. The reason for changing the shape of the number from 2 to cube root of 8 is because these two come from the same function f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, a is 8, then f prime of 8 equals limit 
as h approaches 0, f of 8 plus h minus f of 8 over h. So, f of 8 plus h equals cube root of 8 plus h, then f of 8 equals cube root of 8, that means f of x equals cube root of x. So this limit represents f of prime of 8, where f of x equals cube root of x, then f of x equals in power form x to the power of 1 over 3, then f of prime of x equals 1 over 3 times x to the power of minus 2 over 3. So, f of prime of 8 equals 1 over 3 times 8 to the power of minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 3 times 2 cubed to the power of minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 3 times cancelled to the power of minus 2 that means 1 over 3 times 1 over 2 squared then 1 over 3 times 1 over 4 which is 1 over 12. Question 4 we can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0 ln e plus h minus ln e over h f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h when we compare these two limits a is e then f prime of e equals limit as h approaches 0 f of e plus h minus f of e over h in here f of e plus h is this one ln e plus h f of e equals ln e now we know f of x equals ln x so this limit represents f of prime of e where f of x equals ln x then f of prime of x equals 1 over x then f of prime of e is 1 over e this is the last one Use the definition of the derivative f of prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, a is 2, then f of prime of 2 equals limit as h approaches 0, f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h. So we can think of it as f of 2 plus h equals the first one ln 2 plus h squared plus 3 then f of 2 equals ln 2 squared plus 3, which is ln 7. That means f of x equals ln x squared plus 3. That means this limit represents 
f prime of 2, where f of x equals ln x squared plus 3. So f prime of x equals 1 over x squared plus 3 times x squared plus 3 prime, then 2x over x squared plus 3. Then f prime of 2 equals 2 times 2 over 2 squared plus 3, then 4 over 4 plus 3. The final answer is 4 over 7. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.